Good Monday. I'm Chris Pote. This is Monday Morning Joel. Let's get started. Sharona. Good morning. Today with us is uh, Sensei Steve Bashi. Yes, He's a martial arts expert. Uh, and what do you do, Steve? Explain to the people what, what do you do? I mean, do you have a school here or? Yes, sir. I have a school at um, Gateway Plaza, Goshen Avenue, right by Pro Bowl West. Okay, and, and what do you do there? Do you train people to uh, defend themselves, or what? What is martial arts to you? Are you teaching people discipline, or? Yes, sir. We teach the physical discipline as well as the emotional control. You know, making the proper decisions. You know, the main thing I focus on is not only, you know, the physical exercise, but the character development, the discipline, the self-control. You know, just making the right choices and doing the right thing in life. Just taking control of not only your body but your mind. So, so I'm going to, this would be an appropriate question for you. How do you kick start, you like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your Mondays? Uh, the first thing I do, I wake up at like uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. I work out. I do, I do my prayer first. It's, it's very, very important that we put God first. And um, I read my Bible, and then after I do my physical discipline, which is uh, training from five to eight, and then I shower and I go into my school. I'm in my lo my location by eight thirty, and then I start my day until nine p.m. at night. Wow, that's a long day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, wouldn't you say like you consider Monday to be a great day? Yes, sir. It's it's always a great day. Every day is a great day. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And any advice that you could give uh, other business leaders on how to get going, how to start their week in a positive note? I feel it's very important anything you do, you put God first. You know, if you put God first and you have faith, that's very, very important. I think that gives a good foundation for anything that you want to accomplish. Um, the physical discipline is very important because it helps to release stress. And it gives you more peace of mind. That way you can focus better. And be more productive, and um, I feel those two uh, areas are very, very important. God first, and physical discipline. And once you have that, you know, once you do that early in the morning, you have that established. Everything else seems to flow uh, much better, much easier. And do you have an adage by which you live your life and run your business, or a saying that you follow? Just every day and every way, we're getting better and better. Simple. Um, as long as you, like I said, you put God first, you keep yourself physically fit, mentally fit, and you have faith and you work hard, anything's possible. We can only evolve and get better. Um, so, when if someone goes to your business, I mean, if somebody wants to train with you in martial arts, what's their first step? Do you just do they show up, or like, uh, do they have to have a goal, or how does this thing work? Well, usually when they come in, I'll have them fill out a slip, and they'll put down their main objective. It could be physical fitness, self-confidence, discipline, and I make sure we capitalize on that, and we help that individual attain their goal. Uh, the beautiful thing about martial arts, it's not only, like I said, a physical discipline, it's a character development program. You're learning all the areas. You become a well-balanced as a human being, and so I try to you know, focus mainly on what their main objective is and help them to reach their goal. Once they come in, first class is always a basic class. And then once they accomplish the basic class, they go to the intermediate and then uh, advanced expert. It's a step-by-step -step process. So are these processes measured by the belts or you have a different standard? Yes, sir. We do, um, like we have a curriculum and we have a certain word that we'll try to perfect or master through repetition, like let's say a white belt, their main word is self-control. They have to practice that repetitively every day. You know, for example, let's say someone comes up to one of my kids and calls them a name, I tell them to respond, I can handle it. You know, and when they repeat that repetitively over and over, it becomes a habit. It becomes part of their character as well as learning the physical technique. And then step by step, we give them a new word, a new curriculum, and then by the time they're a black belt, they've perfected themselves. That's the goal. So, what is kind of like the highest success that you have ever had? 
like some something that you thought like wow I didn't know that this was possible my relationship with God you know because as a martial artist we're trained to tell ourselves that we can do it on our own and you know I was always trained that way and I realized that when you just try to do it by yourself that we're gonna fail you have to put God first and then work hard and believe in yourself and anything's possible so I, I think just having a relationship with God's been the best success and if you could have and select one superpower the ability to see the future the ability to fly whatever it is what would what would you select and why just to reach the masses with what I do you know just uh, God working through me to help people I would just like to help as many people as possible be the best they can be and to feel good about themselves because I feel that's important if you feel good about yourself and you're, you're exuding confidence you can accomplish anything that's the main thing um, tell us something that that not many people know about you that you know it's surprising they see you as this piece full calm guy but something that you know people will say like whoa I, I didn't know that he did that or something of that or something I've experienced to get me where I'm at well, yeah you know some life something experience that something that people will be like like even big people who are closer to you might say like whoa I didn't know that um, I just had I've had some really negative childhood experiences that have happened to me that have brought me to where I'm at today. You know? Oh, okay. And I made the choice as a child to take martial arts to, so I could feel more confident, more secure, because um, I guess from 13 to about 15, I was very insecure. I had low self-esteem, and, you know, I got into martial arts um, around that age, and it's just helped my confidence tremendously. I credit you know, I, I think anything negative that happens, there's always a positive side. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm grateful that I experienced the negative because I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for that. That's great. So, um, how do people get hold of you if they, if, if they were to do business with you? Well, they can call me at 260-226-1111. Um, that's my phone number. Gateway Plaza, Goshen Avenue, if you want to come in. First lesson's free. There's no obligation if you like it. Okay. I can go over all the details with you, the scheduling, the programming. If not, we'll shake hands and we'll still be friends either way. So if you want to come out and have a good experience, please do. You're welcome. The doors are open. So in closing, I would like to thank uh, Sensei uh, Steve for coming and joining us today. And I would like to thank the audience. We are recording at uh, Higher Grounds, downtown Fort Wayne. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it. <laughs>